Hi everybody, I'm going to show you a quick and easy snack or lunch idea that will travel well for your kids or for yourself. It is a cucumber roll-ups which has hummus and chicken inside. Hi, I'm trying out um, a tripod. So you take a cucumber and you use a peeler and you slice thin slices of cucumber. My kids like cucumber and so this will be a nice side for supper tonight um, versus um, just having cucumber that pieces a bit up there. Bend this down a bit. Out to the end there. So what I do is I sprinkle the slices with salt and pepper but today I'm going to sprinkle them with a garlic pepper seasoning. So there's garlic salt pepper all together just to so I don't have to take out a whole bunch of different spice jars sprinkle it so each piece has a bit and then forgot to grab a knife and i'm using pre-made hummus this i get from costco um it's my family favorite you get two large jars for like five five or six dollars and I send that to my kids for lunches at school and uh, uh, snacks at home. It's very healthy. I can make it at home too. Um, using my Vitamix, um, it makes it nice and smooth. I used to use my Bullet before I got my Vitamix. And it would be all chunky and my family likes it when it's nice and smooth. But they actually they prefer the consistency and flavor. Um, the one from Costco, this particular brand, because I haven't quite mastered the combination of garlic and oil as this brand has. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But they know that I can make it myself. So. All right. And so you take the cucumber. And you can put the seasoning on it and a bit of hummus. And then I took a piece of deli meat and I cut it in half. And I lay that on top and fold it over. If they're wide cucumbers, you might not have to fold it over. And then you roll it like this. And it's a little spiral. Not only do they look pretty, but uh, they're fun and they're tasty. So we're going to have these as a side with supper tonight as per my kids recommendations as hubby's not home for supper tonight so I asked my daughters what they'd like for supper and they wanted Dutch baby which is basically like a Yorkshire pudding or baked um, a baked pancake type thing so we're gonna have that very easy you can do this at home and it's actually very healthy so hi everyone I'm going to do a quick video on something that's very frugal 
and very easy to make with ingredients you have on hand. If you have milk, eggs, and flour, you can do this recipe. Uh, it calls for eggs, milk, flour, salt, nutmeg, and then dusting of icing sugar if you want. So I'm going to be making Dutch babies. It's one of my kids' favorite things, that and Yorkshire pudding when we have roast beef, which is basically um, a Dutch baby is a sweeter version of a Yorkshire pudding. And um, my kids seem to love it, and it's really easy to make. I'm going to be doing it into a lasagna pan, but traditionally you do it into a cast iron pan. I'm doing a lasagna pan because I'm going to double the recipe. Hello. So the most important things are to make sure that everything is room temperature. So the eggs have to be room temperature and the milk has to be room temperature. There we go. So I took the milk and I microwaved it for 30 seconds to make sure it's room temperature and I had the eggs in a bowl of hot water so that they would get to room temperature. So the recipe calls for two eggs, a little shell came out, um, half a cup of milk, of warm milk, and a half cup of flour, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of nutmeg. And that's it. And so what we're going to do is, um, oh, and butter in the pan, is we're going to set the uh, oven to 475 to get all hot. And put the lasagna pot pan in there to heat up. And while that's heating up, it should only be a few minutes, I'll get the eggs whipped. So I take my shells and I put them in a the container to dry so I can grind them up and use them in the garden. And I'll get this here. nice and soft, fluffy. Let's see. It's nice and fluffy. Now I'll put my warm milk. Now it's not hot, it's just at room temperature. measure the dry ingredients. I keep flour in whatever containers I have on hand. These ones I got free from the grocery store from the bakery department. I think they had um, dough or fruit in them. I have a few of these in my garage for storage and it calls for a cup. So it calls for a pinch, and I'm calling that a pinch. And then here's the nutmeg. Let's go 
to shake that in. And I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny bit of cinnamon in because just to give it a little bit of something. But you could make this also savory. You could put some thyme or savory or rosemary in it. So this will turn out to be like pretty much like a Yorkshire pudding, but um, eggy. Um, my family's going to have this with supper with the cucumber spirals with the hummus that I just made. And then we're going to have some hot dogs and some veggies and, and onion dip that all I did was have um, sour cream mixed with onion soup mix for supper tonight. Just gotta make sure you get all the lumps. For us, you'll have pockets of dry flour in your dough. lasagna pan out of the oven because it's going to be super duper hot now. Just put it there and put in some butter. I think it's two teaspoons or so but I'm doubling the recipe so put some butter in. In Canada, we don't have um, sticks of butter. Well, we have them, but they cost like twice as much as a pound of butter. So a pound of butter here, I usually get on sale for about three, four dollars. If not, like not, I don't pay. I don't want to pay more than four dollars. So three eighty-eight or so. But when it's down to about two eighty-eight or two fifty, I will buy a bunch. And whenever it's on sale, I just buy about ten of them. So that I can have them stocked up. I throw them in the freezer, I put them in the fridge, I can butter um, for longer term storage or shelf storage in case those places are done. Also um, you can leave out butter for a long period of time as long as it's not the summertime when it's really super duper hot it won't go bad for a long time. So. Here's the melted butter in the pan. And now I'm pouring the batter in here. I'm putting this back into, oh, I gotta change the temperature on here to 400. My stove is uh, a convection stove, so it, oops, go that way. it uh, goes about 25 degrees higher than the recipes. So, I think the recipe called for 425. Go put at 400, and you put it in here for about 12 to 15 minutes or so. 
could just look on it. Hi guys, I'm back. Now, it's been 12 minutes, and I'm going to take the um, Dutch baby out of the oven. And you're going to be amazed at what it looks like. It is awesome. I'm also currently listening to Homestead Tessie and her live feed. Look at that. Turn off the oven now. But have a look at how that is. It's nice and poofy. Rose up. So, I would show it to you, and this is what we're having for supper, with some hot dogs, and the cucumber roll-ups and veggies, and dip. That's it, guys. Have a great day.